What's going on you guys? I'm back doing a video on lane bifurcation and why a lot of you are wasting your money on one of these because you have no idea what you're doing. So let me explain right away what one of these are. This is a M.2 extension card for most of the motherboards that support lane bifurcation. And if you don't know what that is, look it up and I'll explain it the rest in this video. But this specific one holds up to four NVMe drives and they can be separate NVMe drives. So you can have four separate hard drives or solid state drives that act individually on one of these and this is the asus hyper m.2 x16 card v2 which at the time specifically worked with the threadripper system which mine is the second generation threadripper and <coughs> oh excuse me uh, and and a lot of you have always asked the question but even when i tell you guys why you should not buy this and I tell you that you have no idea what you're talking about just because you spent $700 on a processor and I'm telling you that your motherboard doesn't have lane bifurcation some of you still go and buy it anyway and then a week later you're wondering why your motherboard is only detecting two M.2s and let me show you exactly why so see how these are full PCIe slots, but not all of them are X16 slots. A lot of people get this mistaken. Just because it's a full size slot does not mean it's a X16 slot or not a full 16 lane PCIe slot. Some of them are four lanes and four, some of them are eight lanes and I'll show you how you can tell without taking out this motherboard, which I'll show you on another one. Can you see how there's only half of them you can see is pinned out? That means this bottom slot is only in X8, which is a, it's wired for eight PCIe lanes. So you can see how the rest are blank going back here. Where on this one, it's a full PCIe 16X slot because you can see how the pins are actually wired all the way to the end. So that is why when I tell people, don't waste your money on one of these, and I don't care how much you spent on your motherboard, if your motherboard doesn't support lane bifurcation and doesn't have a full PCIe X16 slot, you will not detect all four NVMe drives. It won't work because it's not wired that way. So stop wasting your money and start listening. <laughs> Say, you guys are a bunch of morons, why? Are you and it's so crazy how many people will just go out and do it anyway, even though I have the hardware and I'm telling them exactly why they shouldn't. So let me show you again um, on one of my other motherboards that actually supports it again, and then I'm gonna show you why people are still mistaking it. So see how some of these are pinned out this is an X16 slot. This is a X4. So full 16 lanes are wired out on these two slots here. That's when SLI actually was a thing. And then you have um, by eight uh, slots here. So these are X8 slots, fours or ones. They're either fours or ones. And then these are eights. And then these are full 16s uh, X slots. See how these these are actually X16 slots, but when you flip it over, this is where a lot of people get it mixed up. See how they're all, oh, they're all full size PCIe lanes there. And that's where when I'm telling people you don't have a motherboard that doesn't support it, I ask them to flip over their motherboard. When, when people are asking for advice and I'm telling them don't buy the thing. Say, you guys are a bunch of morons, why are you? because your motherboard won't support it, the first thing I do is have them flip it over and I will show them exactly that. And most of the time, most, most of the mainstream motherboards, you'll see, will only have this one as a full size um, 
PCIe X16 now, where the second the second slots are either eights or fours, and then the rest are dedicated to your two M NVMe drives now. So depending on the motherboard, you won't even see this many full 16 and uh, 16 lane slots. So when you are wanting to buy one of these cards for a extra storage for NVMe because you're going crazy and want all NVMe drives, make sure you're checking your motherboard for one, making sure they're actually X16 slots. And two, you have to make sure it actually supports lane bifurcation. And I'll show you here in a minute what lane bifurcation looks like in the thread or persistem. So if you guys wanted to know what the inside of an M.2 extension card looks like or the Hyper M.2 X16 V2 looks like. So the V2 is a little different. The Qs go this way and I know the new V3 is PCIe 4.0. This one is a 3.0. And the fan comes here and you got your heat sink and I kind of ruined some of the uh, thermal pads but I moved them to where they actually cool the more important chips that's on the NVMEs. But that is the basic layout. These are the one terabyte, and I'm switching them all out for two terabytes. All right, got the two terabytes in. I got all the one terabytes out, and I'll be throwing a couple of them inside the motherboard. And I know there was actually a guy who called me a liar and I, when I told him that I had a bunch of NVMe. Um, so there you are. You have one, two, and three NVMe slots on the Threadripper boards. I had. I literally have a screenshot of a guy calling me a liar saying I had no idea what I was talking about when I said you can put three M.2 NVMEs on a Threadripper which is the specific reason I got a Threadripper board and it was specifically this one because I wanted to use up all these. So for another example of why you should really be careful about how you pick things out so the way I'm going to have it laid out is those two M.2s with that third one there and then me utilizing this port this here for lane bifurcation all of these along with this disables two of these SATA ports and I believe it's going to disable this last PCIe so you have enough lanes to support not only full 16x slot for the 3080 and then you have all three NVMEs, and then you also have the full lane bifurcation there. So that's something you have to read in the manual. Your motherboard, your motherboard and CPU, depending on what you have, may vary. This is the second generation Threadripper, so your third gen may be different, and your motherboard might be different. So in my case, it'll disable SATA ports and that very bottom PCIe slot. All right, so. If you have an AMD board, or at least a Threadripper ASRock system, this is what your BIOS is going to look like. This is what mine looks like specifically for the Threadripper, but I bet you your ASRock system uh, BIOS looks exactly like this. So I'm guessing it'll have the exact same tabs. You want to go to Advanced, in my specific one it's AMD PBS. You go into there and it gives you all the options for all of your PCIe lanes. And if you are able to have lane bifurcation, it'll look like this. You'll have this entire setup, which it'll give you all three uh, options here. You got X16, which if you if SLI was still a thing, you'd throw another video card in there, or depending on your workload, some people have specific CAD work or 3D rendering uh, workloads or jobs, you'll have two video cards. You'll wanna put that to make sure you have that at X16, so you're getting all full speed to both slots. But in my case, I'm splitting them all four by fours, all the way across the board for all four NVMe drives. And then you also got eight by eight if that's what you need. But in my case, I have four NVMe and it's all gonna be using the four by four slots. So make sure when you're buying it, you actually have this feature. Stop wasting your money. Listen to me when I tell you you have no idea what you're talking about when I tell you you need lane bifurcation and then you're telling me that you're buying the top of the line AMD or you're buying the top of the line Intel and I said make sure you have this 
and you ask me a week later why two drives are only showing up, this is the reason. Say, you guys are a bunch of morons, why are you- So stop wasting your money, don't be a freaking moron, just listen, and do your research before buying a bunch of equipment that you can't use. So until next time, my next video is going to be me upgrading my Plex server. I'll do a quick video on that one. A lot of people are wondering what I'm putting in it and why I decided not to put a Quadro in it when I decided to get an RTX 2060 in it. He's a complete idiot! And uh, we'll show you guys that in the next video. I will catch you guys next week. Sometime.